why there's so many pieces of hair in my eyeballs right now. Oh, should I do hoops? Yeah. All right, so I've been off Accutane for about six or seven months now. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I have a whole Accutane playlist where I documented literally every step of the journey, if I had any side effects, talked more about what Accutane is, my acne story, the process to go on it, everything. So I'm not gonna be talking in this video about those kinds of things. So this video is more so just a current update on things I've noticed since being off Accutane. And I went on Twitter to see if you guys wanted to see this video and a bunch of you asked a lot of questions. So I'm gonna be answering all of your Twitter questions in this video as well. So if you're excited for this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Two things like with any Accutane related video. One, I'm not endorsing Accutane. I'm not saying you should go on it. It's a very serious drug, serious side effects. I'm just sharing my experience. Experience. Always do your own research, talk to your dermatologist. A lot of the questions specifically about Accutane and what it is and everything, I'm not going to be answering because you can Google it and you can talk to a doctor who is more knowledgeable than I am. Second thing is that I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I always like to film my Accutane videos without any makeup so you can really see what my skin looks like, what the current state is. I also just recently did a skincare routine video. All I have on right now is literally a dab of under eye concealer just right here. I haven't brought it anywhere else. So I'm basically just gonna do Q&A style for this video because you guys asked questions that basically cover everything that I was gonna touch on in this video. So let's just jump into Quitter. T Quitter? Ellie says, is your skin still as dry as it was while on Accutane? Will it ever become oily again? What products would you recommend that help with scarring? So my skin is definitely not nearly as dry as it was when I was on Accutane. Accutane sucks the moisture out of your skin. You become like a scaly, peely mess. I did a skincare routine while I was on Accutane. 100% recommend those products still. I think it was like my Accutane savior. So if you're currently on Accutane or you're thinking about going on it, check out that video for the products I recommend to really help with dryness because I swear by them. So before going on Accutane, I'd always had oily skin. Going on it, I had severely dry skin. And now I would say my skin is dry to normal. The products I'm using right now are helping a shit ton. I just did a skincare routine video. So all of the products I currently am using and recommend are in that video. So I'll also link that one down below, but I don't have any like major patches of dryness or anything like that anymore. It's mostly just overall my skin is a little bit more on the dry to normal side. I don't get oily throughout the day at all, which is amazing. There's one question about that. What products would you recommend that help with scarring? 100% rosehip oil. I talk more about it in that skincare routine video. Jackie asked a good question. Do you find that the same products that used to break you out still break you out now that you've been on Accutane? So before going on Accutane, a lot of products would break me out and I was testing foundations as much as I am now and I think that has a lot to do with it because just the nature of what I do, I'm constantly trying new products so my skin goes through it and that's not going to change anytime soon as long I'm doing YouTube. So I do feel like I break out way less, like barely ever. I think I've had maybe two breakouts in the last six months. And when I do, like I have one kind of healing right here. They don't ever come to the surface and they usually go away in like two days. Kim says, by the way, hi Kim. I always see you on Twitter. You rock. She says, how has your mental wellness changed, if at all, after being off Accutane? And any changes with peers slash social... So oh my gosh. I've tried to say this so many times peer slash social group after acne is no longer a part of your life. So I'm not sure if that question means within myself has anything changed or if I've noticed anything with the way that people treat me, but there was another question like that. I'm going to take this one as myself, like mental wellness, she says. Like I've talked about before, I was really lucky in the sense that my acne never, I never realized how my acne was affecting my self-confidence. I had confidence before and I just kind of learned how to live with my skin and I was so used to it that once it cleared up, I didn't realize how much better I could feel about my skin. I go out without makeup all the time now. It feels amazing. I love not having acne. <laughs> like I, I love it. I hope everyone can experience this at some point, whether it's through Accutane or something else. The feeling of not having acne on your skin is incredible. When I had cystic acne, I remember looking at people with like great skin, thinking how freaking lucky they are to just be able to go swim in the summer without makeup on or work out without makeup on and all these things that you just kind of, you get used to when you have acne for so long. So I think because I just never thought that was gonna be my reality, now that it is, it's just like, it feels incredible. So I think my mental state has changed in that way, just that it feels even better than 
I even knew I could feel about my skin. Catherine, thank you, Catherine. I always see you on Twitter too, says, do you get any residual acne? How do you deal with it? Products you recommend now? Like I said, I've only gotten a couple breakouts. When I do get a breakout or I just feel like I'm starting to get like some under the skin bumps or something, that's when I for sure use my retinol. So I use Adapalene 0.3% is from the dermatologist. You can't get it over the counter. I don't think at that percent. So when I do have a breakout coming through or something, I feel like the retinol really helps literally overnight. I don't use the retinol every day. I only use it about once or twice a week or when I see. I'll even put it on like a little spot like right here I've been using it just to not get it to come to the surface and just go away. Diva Glow says, do you panic whenever you get a breakout now and worry that the severe acne is coming back? Can that happen? If it did, are you allowed a second round of Accutane? Okay, lots of questions in there. So you can do a second round of Accutane. I think my guess would be that it depends on like your blood work and just the state of your liver and everything. If you're able to do a second round, it's way more intense on your body when you do a second round. Some people do a third round. I hope that I never get to that point where I have to do it again just because Accutane is so incredibly harsh on your body. And if this is the first time you're hearing about Accutane, please do your own research. It's intense, it can affect your mental health. I try to point this out in every video because I think some people who haven't heard a lot about Accutane just think it's like another acne prescription. It's not, it is intense. You have to get blood tests every single month. You have to get approved for it. Your acne has to be pretty severe to go on Accutane. You have to have tried every other option basically. It's like a last resort, you don't want to go on Accutane. So of course the ideal would be that I never have to go on Accutane again. My mom went on Accutane in her 20s and she only did one round, so that's promising. It really worked on her, so hopefully same thing happens for me. If it did come back to the same level that I was at before, I would definitely consider going on Accutane again, just because now I know what it feels like to not have acne. Do you panic whenever you get a breakout now? I think when I got my first breakout, I kind of was like, oh shit, is this coming back? But then once I realized I can just put a little retinol on it and it's all good and I'm, I haven't broken out at all to the same level that I used to, now I don't freak out when I get like a little breakout because again, I just think it's due to the product I'm using and I just stop using it and then it goes away. Riley says, I'm on month four going on to month five and I'm worried that the scarring won't go away. I have been using that rosehip oil that you recommended. How long did it take for you to notice the scarring to disappear? Or do you still have a little left of it? So you guys can see my skin. I do still have a little bit of scarring right here. I have a really dark red spot, some on this side, but rosehip oil has totally helped my scarring. If you go back, I mean, you can, I do foundation Friday videos every single week without any makeup on my face. So if you wanted to, you could really like track my skin to see the progress over the last six to eight months. So I actually started using the rosehip oil I wanna say halfway through Accutane, which means I've been using it for about nine months now. I wanna say I started seeing a big difference with the scarring while using rosehip oil after about three months. I would say give it a shot. If it's not breaking you out and you feel like it's helping the moisture and everything else, give it a shot for at least three months to help with the scarring to see because that was the point where I like really noticed a difference and I'm using a couple other products now too to help with scarring. It also just depends on your skin and your scarring. I don't know the correct term for it, but you can have like surface scarring and then you can actually have pitted acne scarring, which a lot of people have. That's a lot harder to get rid of. So when I was coming off Accutane, I actually asked my dermatologist if I could do microneedling or laser or some kind of treatment eventually to help with the scarring. And she looked at my skin and was like, you probably won't need it. If you come back in a year and you still feel like you need it, then we can talk about like laser or something else. So if the rosehip oil isn't working for you, I mean, I haven't seen your skin and I'm not a dermatologist, but maybe talk to your dermatologist about other options for scarring. There are tons of other options. Leia Lasher, I always see you on Twitter too. Thank you, Leia. I know you always preface your videos with how serious of a drug it is and how you're not suggesting anyone use slash not use it, but speaking for yourself and knowing what you know now, if you could do it all over again, would you skip the years of other methods you tried and go straight to Accutane? So this I get asked a lot of, about a lot, like if I wish I did it sooner, and it's weird because if I didn't do YouTube, I think I would have wished that I did it sooner because why not, but for just the way that my YouTube journey has been, I think it would have been a totally different experience for me just because I've been able to connect with so many of you guys through my whole skin journey and going on Accutane and dealing with acne. I just don't even know what that would have looked like for me as far as YouTube without having acne for so long. So I am happy with the way that it turned out. Taylor says, for those of us tight on finances, is there anything we should anticipate financially besides copays to the doctor and such? I feel like no one talks about this, but it's such a big factor. I think the reason why no one talks about it is because 
It is entirely dependent on your insurance and your situation. Since insurance changed at the new year, I ended up having to pay way more for those last few months than I did for the first few. I think the first few, my copay was like super low, but again, you're still paying for blood tests, you're paying for copay, and then also all of the products, which I would, if you're on a tight budget, I would budget in for products because to make your Accutane experience so much more pleasant, I definitely think you're gonna need to invest in some kind of products. Most of actually the products that were like my holy grails while in Accutane were from the drugstore, so that shouldn't be too much of a burden, but just keep in mind that those things you will need to budget in as well. And then if you are a full-time student or if you work full-time and you don't have a flexible schedule, you definitely need to consider that the blood tests that you go do every single month, usually, I mean, depending on where you are, some of them open super early so you could go before work but some of them open at like 9 which is ridiculous so just check your area to see which ones stay open late or open early just so you could go around work and that you won't have to like take time off or anything because that's something that no one really talks about Kala says are you experiencing any foot pain I hear that's an after effect that's interesting I have never heard that no, I'm not. I think my feet are fine. They're doing great. Viv says, do you always feel the need to wear foundation or do you go bare face more often? Do you notice a difference in the way you're treated in everyday life before and after Accutane? Okay, so that was the question I was talking about earlier. I definitely go bare faced way more often. If I'm going to run errands or something, I usually am not wearing any makeup. If I am, it's just like a little bit of under eye concealer like this just to help with the redness. Sometimes I'll put on like mascara or something, but usually I'm not wearing foundation. And actually the other day, Rach, my best friend and I were in Target and it was like nighttime and I kept passing those mirrors in like the clothing section and I was looking at my makeup and I was just like, I think I would feel better if I wasn't wearing makeup right now. Like I wanna go wash off my face. And that was something I never in a million years would have said before Accutane. I literally felt like in that moment, I would feel more confident without makeup. Do you notice the difference in the way you're treated in everyday life before and after Accutane? So this was kind of like what Kim was referencing earlier. I don't know, it's hard to tell because you never know why people are doing something or looking at you a certain way. I guess you could assume things, you know, if someone's like staring at you weird because of a hair color or acne or weight or whatever it is. Like I think those are more your insecurities rather than how people are looking at you. If you feel confident with acne, if you feel confident with your weight, I don't think you're gonna assume that people are treating you a certain way based on that thing, if that makes sense. So I don't really know because I don't know I don't know why people treat you a certain way. Crystal says, did you get told to stay away from laser and waxing for a year after? I did and didn't listen and it was incredibly painful. So like you guys know, I did get laser hair removal. I've also done a lot of like hair removal things lately. I've done epilation, did a whole video on that too. But I checked with my dermatologist and the laser doctor and my dermatologist seemed totally fine with it after like I think three months is when I started the laser. So she was saying that she thinks the whole year thing is overrated. I waited a few months. I feel like my skin is totally fine now. I like the six month point to do anything like waxing, whatever. I don't feel like my skin is nearly as sensitive as it was when I was on Accutane, just as far as like to the touch. You can kind of tell when you're on Accutane, your whole body just kind of like feels sensitive. But when I went in for the laser hair removal, he definitely wanted to like patch test it since I had been on Accutane. So he started really low and then we worked our way up and my skin was reacting totally fine. So I went into it like cautiously, but for me personally, it was fine. Clearly everyone has a different experience with it. So if your skin was more sensitive, you know, do whatever your dermatologist tells you. I'm not telling you to do it before the year point. I'm just saying what happened with me and what my dermatologist told me. Other than now having dry skin, do you notice any body changes or side effects that the Accutane caused? So this was another popular question that I've been getting, if I still have any side effects from Accutane. And I think someone else asked about joint stuff. And that one is also tricky for me to answer because I have chronic pain and I have chronic neck, back, joint body pain already. So it's really difficult for me to attribute that to Accutane. Overall, when I think back, I think my joints feel slightly better, but everything else is about the same for me. The only lasting side effect besides the dry skin that I feel like was caused by Accutane that I still have is worse night vision. I cannot see well at night now. Sometimes it's totally fine and sometimes I'm driving and it's like light overload and everything's kind of just like blurry and out of focus. And I have 20-20 vision, so I definitely think that was caused by Accutane. And I'm pretty sure that's something that my mom experienced too. There are tons of Accutane side effects. It can affect your mental health, depression, everything. And I talked more about 
those side effects in the Accutane playlist, but as far as lasting things, that's the only thing I can think of. Alice says, would you prefer to be oily and acne-free or dry and acne-free? So I've thought about doing a whole video on this, oily versus dry skin, because now that I've had both, I think there are definitely pros and cons to both, but I would 100% rather be dry and acne-free. Oh my gosh, it is so nice not having makeup melt off your face in two hours. But I think that's everything. I hope I answered a lot of you guys' questions. Overall, I personally, for the experience that I had, I would 110% do Accutane over again. If I could go back, I would do it again. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Definitely check out all my other acne related videos down below. If you currently are suffering with cystic acne, I have a lot of full coverage foundation routines. I have tons of videos geared toward oily skin with acne. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.